It's 3 o'clock in the morning, and we're up in the cab of a John Deere R4045 sprayer, heading down a western Kentucky road to start spraying winter wheat with nitrogen. This big machine is working right in the middle of the polar vortex that is sweeping much of the United States with crippling cold. And in this video, we're going to find out why this farm is spraying its winter wheat during this cold winter weather. Hey, big tractor power fans. We're heading out to the field here in January to see big sprayers, John Deere R4045 spraying. Uh, we're kind of in the edge of the polar vortex that's sweeping the country. It is 16 degrees out today, but these sprayers are out here getting the fields ready for the 2019 wheat harvest by getting the fertilizer down. In this video, we're going to spend some time out in the field watching these big sprayers apply nitrogen and climb up in the cab of one of them to see the operator's perspective. As the video gets started, we've got an opportunity here to see all three John Deere R4045 sprayers stopped in one place. Normally, they're spread out far apart from each other, often in different fields. So it's neat to see all three big machines here. They are fitted with 1,200 gallon tanks and have 120 foot boom so they can cover a lot of ground in the day and we'll take a minute to see them as they depart and start working out in the field. The three big John Deere R4045 sprayers that we're watching in this video belong to this Western Kentucky farm. This is not a local co-op or custom applicator running these machines. The farm likes running its own equipment because they have a lot of acreage to cover. In fact, these three sprayers are applying nitrogen on 11,000 acres of winter wheat that will make up the farm's small grain crop for the 2019 season. The farm also likes running their own equipment because they can stay on the schedule that they need to. These big sprayers are running 24 hours a day. In fact, they covered all of the winter wheat acreage in just over 48 hours by having their own machines on hand and sticking to a schedule they wanted to because the reason they're spraying is the ground is frozen solid and these big heavy sprayers can get across the fields without rutting up the ground or running the risk of getting stuck, which really helps out later when they're harvesting and planting double crop soybeans. So now we're gonna climb up in the cab and talk to the operator about why they're spraying, what they're applying, and what it's like to run all the technology that makes this big machine work.
in the cab of the John Deere R4045 sprayer and looks like we're running about 14 and a half miles per hour out here, Matt. Yep, about 14 to 15. And what are you uh, applying on the wheat today? This is 28% uh, nitrogen. So this will help the winter wheat get up and growing when it warms up. And it's good to do it on a cold day like today when it's 16 degrees out because the machine can just float over the ground without putting big ruts out there. Yeah, we don't have to worry about making a mess. The ground's, the ground's pretty solid. Because you got to drive over that with the sprayer again and then the combines and the planters, so it's better not to rut it up. Yeah. Now you've got some technology here that looks like it's newer uh, that I haven't seen the cat before. We're using a satellite image of the field, but you're painting over it um, to the GPS as you go. Yeah, that's uh, that's just an uh, Apple iPad with a, a data program on it for uh, collecting, you know, harvest data or have, like today application data. And we put it towards our, you know, the next growing season to get the most production out of each field that we can. And then over here, it looks like you can see how your the boom's doing or where the shutoffs are and things. Yeah, it shows all the sections of the of the boom and the overlap control. It shows how full the tank is. Or, so it looks like we're getting down to the yeah, bottom here. Getting pretty low, down to 150 gallons. So this is a 1,200 gallon tank? Yep, that's right. So how many uh, acres are you covering in a day? I know you're putting in some long hours right now to take advantage of this frozen ground. Uh, we're putting out 17 gallons to the acre. Uh, so we're getting over 70 acres, give or take a couple per kilo. Uh, today, let me tell you, give me a second, I can look up and see how much I've done today. Eleven hundred. Just just hit eleven hundred acres for today. Wow, that's a lot of ground with one of these, but I've got three of them out here running, so yeah. They can cover some ground in a hurry. So how many trucks does it take to keep this going? I know I've seen at least two. We've got four, uh, four tankers. Two 6,000 gallons and two 5,000 gallon tankers. So it won't take very long to get all the weed acres covered then at, at the rate you're going? No, if we can get a couple more days where it stays cold, we can get it done. Well, thanks for the tour of some of this technology, and it's always neat to be able to see what your perspective is up here. It's a little bouncy in this field. It's a little rough. Like I said, the ground's pretty hard too, that's why it's so rough. There's no cushion. <laughs> it's pretty hard. But that does, um, when the nitrogen goes down though, it's getting right on the wheat and doing what it's supposed to even when it's frozen like this. Oh yeah, once the ground thaws, it'll soak right in and if we get a nice gentle rain, it'll wash it in and it'll be pretty good for the wheat. Well, we'll look forward to seeing how it turns out when the combines start rolling in June. just saw a handy feature that this sprayer has and that's a breakaway boom when you're running as big and wide and fast as this machine is when you're doing the border of the field you can always run the risk of having a branch or a bush jump out and you saw where the boom can just break away and then snap into position and keep on running like nothing happened the sprayer has covered another 70 acres. It only takes 15 to 20 minutes to cover that ground and empty out the 1,200 gallons of nitrogen onto the field. So now we're going to pull up to one of the semi trucks and see how they fill up the sprayer.
it's back to work for Matt, and we're going to head back to the field to take a closer look at why these sprayers are running in this cold weather. They like to run in the cold weather because when the ground is frozen, they leave little to no footprint going across the acres. If it is slightly wet or muddy, the big heavy sprayers can leave some pretty deep ruts, and that's not any fun going back across in a sprayer when you're applying fungicide in the spring or when you're crossing it with the combine or planting double crop soybeans here in western Kentucky right behind that combine. The ruts can really be very jarring if you're running in a wet year and don't get the cold snap. Here we can see a field of wheat on this farm that was sprayed when it was extremely wet. Sometimes you just have to get out there and apply your product to ensure that you get a good yield across the acres. But you'll see that these combines are having a pretty jarring experience running across all the ruts that were left behind. And as we close out the clip, you're gonna see a John Deere 9420R four-wheel drive and a Kinsey grain cart come across the field to unload the combines. And you'll see how the tractor and cart are jarred and bounced about as they cross the sprayer ruts. Another reason to apply the nitrogen in the cold weather and on the frozen ground is that this farm seeds in a second crop of soybeans right behind the combines. Here we can see a big John Deere 9620R four-wheel drive tractor pulling a 60-foot wide horse panther air drill no-tilling the soybeans into the wheat stubble. The tractor is running anywhere from six and a half to seven miles per hour and when it hits a sprayer rut it again jars the entire operation during the seeding process. Process. As you can see, a freezing day is a great opportunity for the upcoming cropping season to apply this nitrogen. Typically in Western Kentucky, a cold winter day is 30 degrees. So to be able to get down to 16 degrees and have the ground good and frozen, and at night it dropped all the way down to nine degrees, was a big advantage for this farm and many other farms in the area to get the winter wheat fertilized. Let's take a look at the John Deere R4045 sprayers specifications. This is the largest rear boom sprayer offered by John Deere today. It's rated at 346 horsepower and can turn out 379 maximum horsepower when it hits tough operating conditions in the field. It's powered by a John Deere PowerTech 9 liter engine. It has a hydrostatic transmission. 
Its fuel tank holds 155 gallons of diesel fuel. The chemical tank holds 1,200 gallons of solution. It has a variety of sprayer booms available, including 90, 100, 120, and 132 foot widths. The 120 and 132 foot widths are available as a carbon fiber boom. You can also get the 120 foot width in steel. That's what we're seeing here. The total factory weight of the sprayer with the 120 foot steel boom we've been watching is 136,080 pounds. It has been produced from 2014 through 2019. It is a current model in the John Deere sprayer lineup. It's manufactured at John Deere's Des Moines Works in Ankeny, Iowa. And its base price, according to JohnDeere.com, is I hope that you've enjoyed hearing, seeing, and learning about the John Deere R4045 sprayer running in cold winter weather while applying nitrogen to winter wheat. While 16 degrees is pretty cold and it's perfect running weather to get this fertilizer applied to the field, it's not as cold as many as other places were in the United States during the polar vortex. Some places got as low as minus 75 with the wind chill. Places like Michigan, Wisconsin, the Dakotas, and many other places here in Western Kentucky, there's usually some sort of big machine running 12 months out of the year, and this was a good opportunity to get the wheat ready for the 2019 harvest in June. If you've enjoyed this video, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there are over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you have any questions or thoughts about the video, please post them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you would like to get a preview of what is coming up next on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram, where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching.